Another way you can do a read aloud, and so that you don't have to do it all within the same audio, you can put each page into Google Slides and then have audio for each page. So you can either start a new Google Slide in Drive or write in Classroom if you want to assign it right away. So we have a new Google Slide and I'm going to use the story caps for sale. So I already found the YouTube video for caps for sale. I'm going to use this one. Um, if we have a program where we can have the books like Epic or Reading AZ, we can also use that. Or if you have the physical book with you or at school, you can take pictures of the pages and then put it into the Google Slides. So I don't happen to have this book with me, so I am going to make this full screen bigger. And I'm going to take a screenshot of this page, this first page here, and I'm going to put it into my slide. So I do that by doing Command Shift 4 so that I can take a screenshot of what I want and only get the book and the words in here and nothing else from YouTube. Now that screenshot goes right onto my desktop. It'll get saved in a second onto the desktop. And we can go into our Google slide if we want to choose um, a theme. You can, you don't have to. You might want to title it Caps for Sale. And then read aloud. And we can put the picture of the book also on your first slide. I'm just going to put it like that for now. I'm going to take out this layout. I can delete these two things or I could just go layout blank and I'm going to just bring that screenshot right over here and it'll appear on the page or I can always click on here insert an image so anything that you have put on the computer will be in here or you can search the web or if you put it onto Google Drive so if I want to upload from the computer, I could take it from anywhere. This screenshot is on the desktop, so I'm just going to open it from there, and it appears on the page the same way. Uh, you can center it in the page, make it bigger, smaller. And then you would want to pull up the audio recorder that's in the Remote Learning Resources classroom. I'm going to go down to the Google Tips and Tricks. It is in the add voice directions, that online voice recorder. And then I want to, I'm going to read the story. So I'm going to record. Once there was a peddler who sold caps, but he was not like an ordinary peddler carrying his wares on his back. He carried them on top of his head. So say that was the only thing I wanted to record for now. I would have paused it over here before I started speaking. And once I read the whole page, I can stop and I can save that recording. And now the recording gets saved into the downloads folders, but I have to put it in Google Drive before I put it in my slides. So I'm just going to take this recording right here and because it's right here I'm going to drag it. Uh, so I didn't rename another one so I'm actually going to keep it separate because I don't want it to save over another one that I did. I've done. I'm going to keep that one separate. That's why I always try to rename the voice files so that they don't appear two times. So let's see which one it is. Is it this one? Look at. That is not it. This one? One. There it is. So I'm just going to rename this one as Caps for Sale, page one, so that I know which one it is. And then I could go here, pretending that I have read this whole page. And then I can insert 
my audio that I just used. So it's right here in my uh, my drive. It would also be under recent. I'm going to select my caps for sale, page one. And then remember you can move this around on the page wherever you want it. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Maybe put it at the top. And when the students have this, uh, they can click it and it will start playing or it can be started automatically. And uh, for this one, because it's not directions, it's actually reading, I wouldn't loop the audio so it plays over and over again. We just want it to play once and then they're going to turn to the next page. So when it's presented, it will look like this and it'll play. Once there was a peddler who sold And then you would go back and you get to the next page in the story. Take a picture of this one, put it on your next slide, and put the audio for the next page. So now you can read each page at a time and put the audio right in the Google slide and they would be able to present it and listen to the story with the pictures just like that.